Welcome everyone, my name is Ahalie. I am here in Montreal, Canada because I'm going to be getting hands-on time with Rainbow Six Siege and we're playing the Alpha build and sharing with you guys some early gameplay. We've got a competitive 5v5 setup, it's going to be a load of fun. I can't wait to jump into the action and share with you guys this game, so let's jump into it. So let's get into the action, my friends. First of all, you've got loads of different operators or classes you can choose from that have unique abilities that you can take into the map that you're playing and at the beginning, if you are defending, you're going to be choosing a place to hold your hostage. There's a lot to explain here, so just take it all in, enjoy the gameplay. It's probably going to be one of the first gameplays you've ever seen of Rainbow Six Siege, and let me tell you, it is fun, fun, fun. So essentially, this is a breach and clear type game. 5v5, one team's defending and trying to look after their hostage, while the other team is trying to get in. They're trying to infiltrate, trying to get the hostage and remove the hostage from the location, or simply just kill all of the enemy team. As you can see here, there's lots of destructible parts of the map and we are playing currently on the daylight house version and we're also going to be having gameplay for you guys of the brand new plane map. I played this game for about three hours non-stop. And by the time by the time we'd finished playing, I still wanted to play more. It, it's just fun. Trust me. If you're going to grab some friends and play together, you're going to be laughing. You're going to be enjoying yourself. It's absolutely awesome. Now, teamwork is a key part to this game. As I said at the beginning... When you're choosing the class you're going to be going for, the loadout you're going to be going for, you want to have a mixed variety of uh, abilities throughout your team so you can all work together to do as well as possible. There I got killed and I went into a downed state and my teammate could come along and actually revive me and bring me back again. So if you are shooting the enemy, make sure you're completely finishing them off. At this point here, it's a 2v1 in our favour. The enemy picked up the hostage. We were playing on PC so my aim wasn't on point unfortunately. I ended up shooting the hostage, which as a result meant that we lost. So that was a bad play by me but now we're moving on to the plane map when you're playing on a plane map you choose a position to spawn in and then you spawn in that position and you'll start infiltrating uh, the and trying to get into the hostage. However, before that kicks off, you actually get uh, some time where you get to run around with a little drone and actually work out where the hostage is or at least try and find the hostage if your drone isn't shot out by the enemy so that you can work out your plan of attack. So what we do is we'd all rush in with our drones, try and find the hostage and be like, all right, the hostage is, say, at the front of the plane. Let's all move in and let's take down the front of the plane and try and get to that hostage as quickly as possible. So... It is extremely tense. In this game, I'd say you die fairly quickly, but you don't move that quickly. So once you see an enemy, it's very, very quick gunfights. And it's all about those, those very quick responses and having an idea as to where the enemy's going to be set up. Now, this is a very cool play. So essentially, all of our team, apart from myself, have all gone for an offensive over the top route where they've come in, they've located the hostage and the enemies, and they've fallen straight in on the enemies. And they've gone from literally a roof location which they've blown open and dropped down. I've gone for a flank position and come in from another location to sort of throw the enemies off. At this point, actually, I was seriously weak and I'd been shot at loads. You can see I was at 4 HP there. I tried to throw a flashbanging flashbang in to take the enemy's sort of gaze away from me and to try and shock him. And as you can see, my, en my teammates are just ripping into the enemies. It was 5v5, now it's only 5v2. My, e my team ended up picking up the hostage. I come in, finish this guy off, meaning that there's only one enemy left. We actually ended up taking the hostage out of the plane and winning by rescuing the hostage, which doesn't happen too often. I mean, the predominant sort of gunfights are going to end up either just having a whole team winning or dying. The hostage is often more of a sort of secondary thing in terms of trying to get them out, but it means that with the hostage in play, all of your actions can be focused around where the hostage is, and you've got to always be thinking about it at all times. So here we're defending, we're setting up loads of reinforcements, making it as hard as possible for the enemy team to be pushing in. This here is a heartbeat sensor. Uh, this game is only currently in alpha, so it's not even in beta right now. Things are still being tested out and balanced. And this thing was pretty insane. It literally allowed you to see through walls to see where the enemy was, and uh, as you can see here, I can see the heartbeats of the enemy players right now. So it's pretty overpowered. Uh, you can't actually shoot your gun while you've got this thing out. So you've got to basically, I was just relaying all this information back to my team, letting me know where they were. And I saw a heartbeat behind this wall and I was like, dude, like, screw it, I'm just going to shoot through the wall. Boom, baby. It got me a kill. And as a result, it now meant there was only one more player left or two currently, but soon to only be one player left. Saw this guy around the corner. I was like, screw it, boys. Let's go in. And that got us the Victory. So what you've just seen there, guys, is some attacking and defending footage on the brand new Rainbow Six Siege on both of the maps that we were available to play 
on the alpha build over in Montreal and I cannot wait honestly to play this game and actually get live reactions because it's crazy intense with live reactions so when the alpha or beta becomes available for me to play and to make videos I will do so and honestly I think you guys will love it so hopefully you've enjoyed a first look at Rainbow Six Siege let me know what you're thinking hopefully I've explained as much as possible there's a lot going on it's very intense and hopefully you guys are liking what you're seeing so thank you so much for watching guys I'm sure I'll be covering this game even more as it gets closer to its release date so thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video